And so, Shannon, how important do you believe this record is to your guy LeBron? Before I answer that question, Skip, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is the very, very one of the very few athletes that I believe that when he says something, I absolutely unequivocally believe everything that he says. Oh, sorry. Glad you brought that up. <laughs> I, yep. just, I just do. You want to talk about a deep thinker? He might be as deep a thinker he, as we've ever had in he, sports. He, he, yep. he very, he very mm -hmm. well could be, Skip. I think it's a big deal. I think for the fact, Skip, that he's so close. This is not something that LeBron James set out to do because remember, he, when they talk about great scores, LeBron James is never, ever mentioned. And I can assure you when this record, when Kareem set this record, I remember when he set the record and he ended up ending his career with all these, uh, uh, with the 38,000 points. If someone would have said, okay, I'm going to give you 50 guesses. Who do you think break this record? I guarantee you nobody would have said LeBron James because they don't think of him as a scorer like Kobe. They don't think of him as a scorer like Jordan or like Kevin Durant or like some of the other all-time great scorers. But yet, here we are. He's, what, 100, 120 games of 25 points or 18 points, six for two years. Mm. Probably would have broke it this year had he not gotten injured those two years. But, hey, that's neither here nor there. Skip, look, this tells me that LeBron James has been good for a very, very long time. And any time you play for an extended period of time, Skip, and you play at a high level, there's a chance you're going to break this record. Like Tom Brady. Tom Brady has the most touchdown passes. He played 20-plus years, played at a very high level. He's about to pass Drew Brees for passing yards, which means he played a long time, played at a very high level. So I don't think that this just goes to show you just how great and for how long LeBron James has been. Mm. Guys averaging 27 points for a career, basically the same as Kevin Durant. Mm. Um, and so, Skip, when I look at it, he's, what, 3,021 points behind Kareem. Skip, I don't really know. I, I, there's no down to this. There's no negative way you can look at this. He didn't. He just started out and said, you know what, I'm going to play as hard as I can for as long as I can. And at the end of the day, we'll see what happens. I remember when I went to uh, Baltimore, Skip, I was about, I don't know, 13, 1,400 yards behind Ozzy. Mm. For all-time receiving yards. Mm. Skip, it's not something that I set out to do. Mm. I mean, a seventh-round draft pick, you're just like, man, I hope I can get me like three years. Mm. hope I can get me ten years. And next thing you know, I'm like, and I told him, I said, hey, bro, I'm this close. I might as well go in and break it while I'm on mm. your watch. Mm. And so that's the way, That's I think that's the way LeBron is looking at it. This is not something that, I don't even know how you can set out and say, you know what, I'm going to be the all-time lead scorer in NBA history, Skip. You just play at a high level. You get very, very fortunate that God mm -hmm. blessed you with great ability and he blessed you with longevity. And for the most part, with the exception of the two of the last three years, Skip, you had no injuries, no injuries that put you down for, say, like a Kevin Durant that missed an entire season mm. or something like that. So for me, there's no negative. LeBron James is going to have this record. And guess what? There's nothing Skip and the other mm. LeBron James haters mm. can do about it. Mm. First of all, I love it how you turned a LeBron breaks Kareem's record topic into Shannon breaks a record of Ozzy. That was beautiful. No, I'm just, Skip. Will wonders never cease. No, all I'm yeah. saying is what I'm trying to say, Skip, is that's not something yeah. that I set out to do, is that I was very fortunate to yeah. play. It was a good, humble brag. In no, fact, it was you. great. <laughs> it might have been all time great. There you, there you go. Yeah, way you. to go. Now, will wonders never cease when it comes to LeBron breaking this record because... Just for the record, LeBron is, is a lousy three-point shooter, and he's a pathetic free-throw shooter for a man of his stature. And that guy is going to be the all-time leading scorer in the history of pro basketball. How many did Kareem make? Woo. Free throws? You know, no three-pointers. Oh, well, he didn't do that, obviously. Let's see, seven feet, two inches tall. And I'm glad you brought that up because Kareem was a career 72% free throw shooter at 7'2". LeBron is a tick higher at 73%, and he is a two-guard. Right. He's not 7'2", he is a two-guard. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's phenomenally bad because already, would you believe that LeBron – has missed almost 2,000 more free throws than Kareem missed in his career because LeBron is a much higher volume free throw shooter right. than Kareem was. Right. And the other quick point to just put this into a frame of reference, remember, once the Showtime Lakers got really good in 88, 89, yeah. 90, yes. that was their peak years. Yeah. They won two championships and should have won a third. But remember, Magic and Byron pulled their hamstrings in 89 at Detroit, yep. and they got swept by the Pistons when I thought they were going to sweep the Pistons. So in 87, 
Was Kareem the leading scorer on the Showtime Lakers? No, he was the third leading scorer. Right. In 88, he was the third leading scorer. And in 89, he was the fifth leading scorer. While LeBron has never not scored the most points for every team that he's played on. Except the, uh, uh, the okay. winning championship. AD. Okay, but that was per game. Yes. AD had a, a little higher per game. Per game, but, yeah. but because missed, LeBron played more, LeBron mm -hmm. scored the most points yes. for the bubble champion Lakers. Okay? And, the and, bubble and, champion. I love how you're it's trying to do that. It's bubble-licious. It's got a big old asterisk in there. Try to add that I, in there. I've still got my cubic zirconia ring. Whatever. I keep it, you know, <laughs> under lock and key because it is so valuable. Okay, so it's interesting because you said there's – no negative to this, no, but, but here, th this is what's fascinating to me, that now as LeBron James is on final approach to this, and I'm going to also remind you, sir, that if, if you do combine regular season and playoff points, he's really on final approach because he's going to break it later this year. Yeah. And, and I'm sure you will come in here and throw a party no, that no, day. No, yes, you no. will. We'll have confetti raining down from the ceiling in here. No, what we're going to do is that we're saving the celebration okay. at the end. Okay. Well, oh, for the championship. Ah, you know, I'm, glad you, I'm glad you know what I'm talking about. Okay, I'll bet you 20 cases right now they don't win the championship. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm just trying to be a truth teller over here. But here's the point. He's on final approach for for again, that's going to be a huge night when he breaks. If you combine it, yeah. because most people you stay on just regular, regular season. season the, the regular season is it's still a ways away. Right. It's probably going to be mid to later next year, Correct. sometime. But but this one's going to happen later this coming basketball season. Correct. Okay. So the point is, now LeBron becomes a little bit at cross purposes because you're already predicting championship. Well, does breaking the record and championship go together? Do they go hand in hand? Because I am not sure they do. They do. Because I see a very different LeBron. I started to see a very different LeBron last year because he has to change the way he plays so that he makes sure he stays on course to break the record. How did he have to change the way he plays? He shot a career high. He attempted a career high 6.3 three-point shots per game. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I'm not great. I'm, I'm actually pretty good at math, but but obviously three is better than two. And right. LeBron is a savant when it comes to basketball. He is the genius of genii when it comes to basketball. IQ still has the obviously the highest. I think he's the highest ever. You could argue Magic. It's close. We could throw in a couple other people, but I, I'm going to put LeBron at the top of that list. So he's already figured out. He figured out going into last year, I need to take more threes because it's a quicker path to Kareem. Well, what what does Kareem, what does breaking this record mean to him? Well, it's it's all he's got left to make his pretty pathetic case no. that, that, that he's better than Michael Jordan. No, Skip. You, he still has an opportunity. You make it seem like LeBron is on his last leg. See, this is the problem that I'm having with you mm -hmm. because you're making it seem like LeBron is averaging 10 points a game and no. he's just hanging on. He's averaged 25 points I got for it. 17 straight okay. seasons. Right. This is not a hanging on record. Okay, I got it. But he still needs to flip his game upside down because the bubble year, what did he do? He led the league in assists because when he wants to do that, he is highly capable of doing right. that. And then all of a sudden, his assists dropped dramatically last year because he went from 10.2 all the way down. This is a plunge to 7.8 because he's saying – I got to concentrate on scoring the basketball. So, so what role did Dennis Schroeder play in that? Because Dennis Schroeder had a, almost a career high in assists. So what role did he play as the starting point guard on the team? LeBron can do whatever LeBron wants to do. That was LeBron's choice is See. I need to concentrate on Kareem. Suddenly it's about catching Kareem. So so all in one year. Mm -hmm. So one year he's well, like, look, you know look, what? Look at the numbers. He, he shot up to a career high 6.3 threes and he fell to a career low. 12 twos a game, 12 two-point attempts a game. So he just said, I, I got to shoot these threes because what are threes for LeBron? Again, he's, he, he's I'll, I'll be nice about this. He's a below average three-point shooter. Is that fair to say? No, he's not. But well, what, what? Average. Do, do, he's average? Yeah. Well, I, I'm looking at what he did last year. He actually had a decent year. His, his career is 34.5 from three. Okay. Okay. Last year he was 36.5. That ranked 110th of 156 yeah. qualified. Yeah. That, that says way below average. Let me ask you a question. Like way below. I'm oh. being nice here. Okay, let me ask you a question. 
So where does this 25 point the game average? Was that 106 out of? Okay, I, I don't even care because that's the point. How do you get those points? What's the quickest way to those points? It's to jack up threes because threes count three instead of two. Okay. And what does it also give you? It gives you the ability to stay out of the fray because what does he not want to do? He doesn't want to go in there and bang bodies with yeah, people. Yeah, kind of like Jordan did. Really? You remember Jordan he hit that post-up game. All of a sudden, he wasn't driving and dunking on Boy, people like he did in, in the 80s. In 98, he was a monster inside. No, no, he skip, was banging skip, bodies skip, like skip, crazy. No, he, he was as physical a player as there was in the league in 1998, which was his last glory year. So since you put it like that, LeBron is just jacking up threes. Do you believe mm -hmm. Steph Curry is going to catch this record and break this record? Well, he, he's as gifted a three-point shooter as we ever had. I, I would encourage Chef, uh, Chef Curry to shoot more threes. So you believe he's going to break this record? Well, obviously not. Why not? The well, three well, is worth more than two. Steph, nobody shoots more per game than Steph Curry. He's a, so, he's a willowy six feet. I'll give him three maybe. But guess what? That's the thing about basketball. They don't care how tall. Le what have I always said about LeBron James? Greatest driver of the basketball I've ever seen. Six feet, nine inch, 270 pound freight train yeah. to the basket. Unfortunately, he is a really pathetic free throw shooter because for the last five years, he has shot under 70%. That's phenomenally wrong. But Skip, you know this, as we start to age, Carl Malone could not drive the basketball and get to the rim like he could earlier. Hmm. He was still as big, he was still as powerful, Oof. but the body, Skip, don't do this. Okay, I'm, I'm doing it because the problem with LeBron is he says, I, I just don't make free throws at a high rate. Oh I, I wish right now he was in his backyard practicing free throws, but he's in the weight room. He's just, rah, 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 rah. How, you how, you know, how you know he ain't in there practicing? I right don't now. even know if he's in the weight room because you could go in there for one minute and post a, a 30 second video so and what, everybody'd say, he's in the is that what, is lab. That, is that, is LeBron's that what, in the lab. Is that what Tom Brady does? Mm, I don't show, really care. When he's showing that TV 12 Tom, method? Tom Brady's won seven Super Bowls and is about to win his eighth. Oh, That's okay. all I know. Okay. okay. Okay, LeBron is four and six in the finals. But he's won, right? Okay, but the point is the free throws are falling off. So LeBron is saying, I, I can't do that anymore. I'd rather do this because it's much easier just to shoot threes. It's, it's higher degree of difficulty, so lower expectations. And I'll just shoot these. I, I'll bet he'll average, he, he was 6.3 a game last year. I bet that'll shoot up to at least seven, maybe 7.5 this year. So, so let me get this right. Dirk Nowitzki played 21 season. He's a better three-point shooter. He's a better free-throw shooter. He's better at shooting the threes. Mm. Why he didn't break Kareem's record? Mm. Kobe Bryant is a, be is a better free-throw shooter. He can drive the basketball. He's more phenomenal than, Kobe, than, than LeBron. He played 20 seasons. Why didn't he break uh, this record? Kobe's body gave out on him. What, 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 what did that got to do with me? He completely No, apart. no, no, no. Skip well, that's you not ask and I no, answer. No, no, because I, in my mm -hmm. opening salvo, I mm -hmm. said that. I said, this, when you break records that's like this, it means you played at a long time at a very high level. Mm. You're making it seem like LeBron James is just hanging on mm. to break this record. You refuse to no, I'm not saying he's hanging on, but it's at cross purposes with winning. So, so next year, it's like, well, now I got to trust the point guard, the decision making to Russell. So Westbrook? let me ask you a question. So let me ask you a question. Do you trust that? So is Tom, do you, do you is Tom Brady at a crossroads? What, what are you talking about? They're the favorite to win the Super Bowl. So what? So the Lakers are the second, number two. So you make it seem like they're the 15th favorite. I'm so just I'm saying. just asking. No, no, no. Quick, quick, quick mm -hmm. question. Is Brady at a crossroads? No, he's good. you've tried to retire him five straight years, and I've told you he's going to play at least three more. And you told me four years ago that LeBron James came out here just to make movies. Mm -hmm. Lo and behold, he's won a championship, and he's been a uh, 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 two-time first team, I mean, uh, mm -hmm. All-NBA yep. ever since he's been here. He so did. You, he won a bubble championship. I give you He that. got it. He got mm -hmm. it. Yep. Give but I'm just – but see, here's the thing. Why is LeBron at a crossroads? Because he has to decide, do I want to win a championship or do I want to win this record? But mm -hmm. Tom Brady isn't. Well, well I, I don't know. It's just like a confounding question. What do you mean crossroads? That's he, what you're he's saying. the best quarterback in football. He was just the offensive player of the week in week one. No, he was not. He's Matthew going Stafford to win was. the MVP. Well, but, but 10 cases, he don't win it. 
Okay, well, I, I already, I'm on the record with it. No, no, well, I, well, I, I want on the record with okay. 10 cases. But, okay. hey, Skip, all I'm saying is, the problem is, what you're trying to do is that you're making it seem like LeBron is averaging 12 points a game, and he's hanging on just to get this record. LeBron James is at, I he, No, I'm not saying he's hanging on. I just think it's harder to win with him going forward into next year because the priority in LeBron's mind is, no, no, i no, got to no. break that because, all in the end, all he cares about is legacy. What will the statement be? Is he the greatest basketball player ever? Because that's what he wants on his epitaph. C C and and it, right now, he's not. But if he breaks Kareem's record, then maybe the more gullible fans out there will start to say, wait a minute, maybe he is the greatest player Skip, ever. you know, Tom Brady has the most passing touchdowns. He has 41. How does Tom Brady keep because, because, up? Because you know, this it's is blasphemous. No, you you no, cannot it's, put him in the stop, same conversation. I, I did it. I did it. Because what you're trying to do is that you're saying everything that LeBron does, the only thing he's concerned about is breaking Kareem's record, that he's doing nothing towards winning. What well, Tom Brady does everything to, towards winning, and then all these records happen to be a byproduct. Why can't that do, be for do, LeBron? Do you really think Le that Tom Brady cares about any of these records? Of course, it, Skip. He does Hold not. Hold on. Let me ask you a question. Are so, you kidding? So, so now, all of a sudden, he doesn't care. So why does he care what Shannon Sharp says when he made that montage after winning the Super Bowl, everything that somebody said negative about it, he had it in there. If he didn't care, why would he do that? It's all about <laughs> winning the <laughs> championship. <laughs> and he won another one. He shocked you. He <laughs> said, I'll go to the sucking ears. I'll, I'll turn him into Patriots and, and, and guess what? Yeah, he said to sucking ears, the most talented team in football. Nobody else said that except Brady. That, that's what, uh, what pro football folks say. Everybody else knew how talented they were. Okay, but the world was shocked when he chose the sucking ears. They were 7-9. and nine. The, You know what? If Jameis had played like he played opening day in Tampa, he would still been in Tampa. He turned the football over too much, which rubbed uh, uh, Bruce Arian, and he realized he couldn't win. So don't make it seem like Skip, because if he was so great, why didn't he take that team, that last uh, New England team, why did he get, get passed out of the first round? He couldn't rise above Belichick. But no, he couldn't rise above the that talent. The architect of that he team couldn't had rise let above it that talent. It, it had declined into oblivion, and Brady said, I got to get out from under this guy. I cannot win in spite of Bill Belichick you know, anymore. Yes, you, That's yeah, what he was saying. He's the GOAT. You told me goats are supposed to overcome all. That's what you said about LeBron. When I said he had Cleveland playing in Cleveland, if he's the goat, he's got to be. So he's the goat. He should be able to overcome that. Did you predict, you being in the Hall of Fame, that he was going to go to Tampa Bay? No, no, no. no nobody no, no, saw that no, coming because that coming. only a genius like Brady could say, wait a second, but, I, I like that. But go back and pull the tape. Mm -hmm. Once he did go, I said, you look at what they have. Well, sure. Mike Evans, Chris Godwin. After everybody's Godwin. eyes got open, you saw, I was saying the Skip. same thing. You can pull my tape. Skip. Look at that defense. They had two Pro, they had two pro Bowl receivers. And then he got able to bring A.B., Minus the distraction, A.B. is still a, a top-flight receiver. He got Gronk. They just had selected O.J. Howard the previous year in the first round. So don't do that, Skip. Don't make it seem like he was playing with bums. He went mm -hmm. down there and played with bums. Mm -hmm. You keep to say the Suckaneers, mm -hmm. what they are currently versus what they used to be. Guess what? Golden State used to suck. Tom Brady turned that whole franchise into a winner's franchise. Skip, they, okay. skip. they had one. Skip, they it. had one before. Okay, but I'm saying yes, they had fallen on lean times. Mm. All I'm saying, hold on, what was the Lakers? The last six, seven years, what were the Lakers? What the hell was the Los Angeles Lakers before LeBron? Mm. The last six or seven years. Okay, so. He's four and six in championships, right? You make it seem like he's 0 and six. Mm. You make it seem like he hasn't won anything. Okay, I got one other key little nugget for you here. This is maybe my all-time favorite LeBron stat. Yes. So in missed free throws in his career, this is why he should have passed Kareem a long time ago if he'd done what he should have done. He still wouldn't have passed yeah, him. Well, he would if, if he could shoot 90% from the line, he would have passed him. Here's the point. Jordan didn't shoot 90%. Okay, well, he shot 85 That ain't 90. Okay, well, Larry Bird shot 90. Is that uh, what you want? Yeah, okay. that's what you said. That's yeah, what you well, imagine. I'm, I'm saying superstars should shoot around 90. Magic was close to 90. Okay, that's that was the gold standard for free throw shooting. Steph Curry is at 92 percent. Speaking of Steph Curry. So the point is, LeBron is now fifth all time in missed free throws. Okay. But look what he's surrounded by. A bunch of giants. Wilt, 
one, Shaq two, Dwight three, Carl Malone four, then comes LeBron, then it's Tim Duncan, Walt Bellamy, uh, Kareem, Bill Russell, Elvin Hayes. You have to go all the way down to 19th on this list before you get to another two guard, who is Dwayne Wade. But look at LeBron is fifth in missed free throws. Dwayne is 19th, and that's the first two guard. That that's an astounding assortment of of big men, of giants. Look at who can't shoot free look throws. At, look at all those guys and how long they played. And only mm -hmm. one guy is the all-time leading scorer. Duncan played 19 years, mm -hmm. and LeBron passed him a long time ago. Yep. Nabisky played 21. He, LeBron is two, 3,000 points back mm. in front of him. Yep. So by the time LeBron gets to year 21, how many points more will he have mm. than Nabisky? Mm. How many when he gets when LeBron gets to 20, LeBron is going to have the all-time scoring record. Yep. Skip, all I'm saying is this. When you play as long as LeBron, you can play a long skip. If I collect if I collect cans for 20 years, I'm gonna have a boatload of cans. Mm. That don't mean they're gonna be valuable, but I'm gonna have a bunch of them. <laughs> but if I collect the right cans in the yep. right locations, I might just have some pretty cool stuff. Mm. And that's what LeBron has done. LeBron James has played for 19 years, put up outstanding numbers, and won. Mm. There is no conflict between winning and acc uh, 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 accumulating great achievements mm. over the, in that same process. Okay. In that same time right. frame. You try to make it one or the other. You try to make a mutually exclusive, and they're not. I want to warn you, you're going to take a wild roller coaster ride this year with your Lakers because LeBron will jack up more threes than ever, and he can be LeBrick. And your point guard, masquerading as a two guard, is Russell Westbrick. And we know what he is from three. He is a nightmare from three. What? So those two guys jacking up shots from the perimeter. Good luck. And guess what? They're going to be jacking up. A title. <laughs> They're going to be jacking really? up another title. Okay. Yeah, look up there. Look up there, Skip. There it is. 2021-22 champs. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that's the only banner that's going up in the Staples. We know who won't be putting one okay, up there. Okay, here's what I'll do. I'll bet you 50 cases of Diet nope. Mountain Dew that Brady will win the championship versus 50 cases that LeBron will. If they both win, it's a push. No, if we it's both win, push. if we both win, you give me 100 because you said he done. No, no, come on. You, yeah, you, you said he you, done. You, you already predicted he is going to win. Skip, if you, so I'm predicting Brady will win. Let's just go 50 cases right here, right now. One versus one. We can have a push or somebody's going to win. No, I want to win. Give me two to one. Give me that. What do you want to ask for? You got the GOAT. No, oh, no. Oh, oh. You got the GOAT. Hmm. You told me the I GOAT. I definitely have the GOAT. No, you ain't got yeah, no GOAT. Yeah. I got the GOAT. <laughs> okay, okay. So we... All time lead score. Cases. Somebody is. All time. Skip, how many guys? Shaky. How many guys you think going to be in the top 10 in scoring and assists? Way to go. I have an idea. Can we add the Cowboys to the mix? 50 cases? Yeah, yeah, yeah the Cowboys. That's what I want. That's mm. the right bet we want to take Let's right talk now. About it. <laughs> Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.